Hi, I'm Scott Mansell and welcome to Driver 61's in-depth analysis of how a Formula 1 pit crew can now complete a pit stop including changing four tyres in less than two seconds. I'm going to take an in-depth look at how these 23 team members all coordinate together to put together a perfect pit stop and I'll use frame by frame footage to analyse the role of each individual member and the important role that they play during the pit stop. Now pit stops have come a long way in the last 60 years. In the 50s and 60s they used to take upwards of a minute to change some tyres and refuel the car. That's gradually come down and as the rules have changed we're down to now a two second pit stop in modern day Formula 1. Not only are there more team members involved in Formula 1 pit stops today, but they're more well organised, they train more, and they have better tools to help them get the driver back out on the track as soon as possible. So as you can imagine, with 23 team personnel involved, it can get very complicated. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the, the whole crew and what each individual or group of team personnel actually does during the pit stop. So we can see Felipe Massa coming into his pit box here and the uh, pit crew are about to crowd around the car and, and, and do their jobs. So first of all, we have the two uh, jackmen, the front jackman here lifting the car and the rear jackman here. Next up, we have the groups of pit crew who are changing the tires. We have three, although it's difficult to see here, on the front left, we have three here on the front right, we have three here on the rear right, and three here, although one of them's hidden again, on the rear left. Then we have uh, a couple of pit crew to stabilize the car and clean anything if there's anything that needs to be fixed on the car as well. We have two here in the middle of the car and two here at the front. And then we have a couple of pit crew who are there to make sure that everything's finished and release the car and Felipe back into the pit lane and into the race. So this gentleman here is, uh, is in charge of releasing the car and in charge of the traffic light that controls Felipe before he goes into the pit lane, as well as this guy at the back. And obviously we can't forget the driver who has an important role of bringing the car into the pit lane and stopping it correctly on his marks. So here's Felipe in the center of the footage here. Now we're going to go into detail of what each of the pit crew actually does during the two second pit stop. So it may look like the driver just casually drives into the pit lane, stops and lets the pit crew get on with changing the wheels and tires. But there's a lot of time to be made as you come into the pit lane and hitting your marks properly when you do come to a stop. Now there's a pit speed limit line as you come into the, as you come into the pits, but the pit lane before that is actually still part of the racetrack so you can really attack it and the idea is to come along there as quickly as possible break as late as you can before you go down to the pit speed limit which is 80 kilometers an hour now as you approach this um, area you'll actually decelerate or, or slow down slightly more than the 80 kilometers an hour um, speed limit now the reason for this is just to be a little bit safe now you'll probably only come down to 75 77 kilometers an hour, then you'll press the pit speed limit uh, button and then accelerate back up to 80 kilometers an hour. When you're coming into the, into the box, you're going slower than you've been at any point on the racetrack. Now, the, the pit lane can be uh, dirtier than the race circuit, it has less grip, but also, and more importantly, you're driving the car with much less or zero aerodynamic uh, downforce than you have are all on the racetrack. So you have substantially less grip than you've been used to and it can sometimes take you by surprise. So here we are on board with Felipe Massa. Now he's got the car slowed down, he's coming into, uh, into his pit stop and you can see he's spotted his pit crew all the way up here. He begins to take the car from the, uh, the fast lane of the pit lane and bring it into the, the pit box area. Now he's focusing on getting the car slowed down and you can see here actually there's a change in the, in the um, surface of the pit lane. It goes from asphalt on the left over here to concrete on the right. So obviously the concrete won't give you as much grip as the asphalt on the left and that's another consideration that you have to, uh, to take in mind when you're coming into your pit stop. 
So at this point, all he's focusing on is the big white line in the middle to get the car in the middle of the pit box and these two uh, yellow and red markers here that the front two tyre men are holding. Now, that's to mark where the centre of the front wheels should stop exactly. And that's what Felipe will be focusing on here, to get the car stopped in exactly the right area so the pit crew had the easiest job to change the tyres. So he's bringing the car into the middle, he's got it fairly well centred and he stopped exactly on his marks. Then all the pit crew go and do their job, they change the tyres and all Felipe will be doing now is holding the clutch in, making sure the car's in first gear and watching the traffic light on top here. At the moment you can see that it's red but as the pit crew change the tyres very quickly there, drop him and now it's gone to green. So as soon as that happens and it's, it's exactly as the car comes down, um, comes down onto the floor again, it's gone to green, he's released the clutch and away he goes. And as you can see, I mean, it just all happens so quickly. So let's watch that again in full speed so you can see from a driver's point of view how quickly it all happens. It's just absolutely incredible. So once the driver comes into the pit box and actually comes to a stop, or almost comes to a stop, it's a, a frenzy of activity. Next up we're going to take a look at the two jackmen, or rather the four jackmen who are there, ready to pick the car up so that the tyres can be changed. So again, we're looking at this overhead view of Felipe coming into the pit box. Now, the people you need to look out for are just here. So we have the front jackman, the spare front jackman here, the rear jackman, and the spare rear jackman who's just coming into shot over here. So the reason that we have these spare jackmen is because the jacks are now getting more and more complex. In order to pick the car up and drop it um, very quickly, they have to have quick release systems. So if one of these gets stuck or it doesn't pick the jack up properly, um, they've got a spare just there to, uh, to, to, to nip in and uh, pick the car up if needed. Although the, uh, the pit stop speed is incredibly important, actually doing it consistently is more important. If you make up a tenth on every single pit stop, but then in one of them you lose 15 seconds, well that's going to cause a massive effect on the race. So it's important that the team cover off any potential problems that they may have with the jacks or with any other part of the pit stop. Let's just watch these guys as they come in. Let's watch the rear jackman back here. You can see he sweeps in and the jack is actually at an angle as it, as it goes in here. He picks up the rear of the car and there we go. The, the spare rear jackman here isn't needed but he's ready to go in if he wants to. If you watch here, so the, the rear jackman goes in and then the spare's right there and ready to, uh, ready to, ready to go. So let's take a look at the front jackman. First of all, he's extremely brave because he's probably the only pit crew who, uh, if Felipe goes past his marks, is going to get injured and taken out by that front wing. So he slots the jack in, pushes down on the jack as quickly as possible. It then locks itself. He moves across to the left-hand side so that it's out the way. So the jack will have a pivot on it. It's a very complex um, system. And mechanically and then he drops it with a quick release system and because he's already out of the way the jack comes out and Felipe goes on his merry way so if we watch that again we'll see that the spare jack man is here ready to go in if there's a problem with the front jack but there's not so he just gets out of the way as quickly as possible then the front jack man drops it and Felipe's back out into the pit lane so all in all, that's, I mean, it's incredibly quick how it happens. And I think when they practice the pit stops, these things just become natural. They just happen so quickly that it becomes instinctive for the, for the pit crew. So next up, we're going to take a look at the front wing pit crew, the uh, middle of the car pit crew who stabilise it, and the, the rear wing pit crew. So we're looking at uh, this guy, this guy, uh, these two in the middle and the one coming in and working on the rear wing here, which you'll see now. This 
uh, pit crew here. So let's take a look at the, the front two first of all. So these guys are here to make any front wing changes. Uh, if there's been any damage, they'll change the front wing. In this case, these two guys are making a front wing change. You can see that they're screwing something uh, on, on the front wing. If there's nothing to do uh, on the front wing during the pit stop, they'll actually clean the, the front wing because if any rubber gets between uh, the elements with them being so close nowadays and with them being like five or six different elements in the front wing, if any rubber gets in there, it can really affect the efficiency of the front wing. So they'll make any wing angle changes, they'll change a damaged wing, or they'll simply just clean the front wing here. Next up, we have the uh, two members of the pit crew in the center of the car here. Now, in this case, they're stabilizing the car. The, uh, the, the, the jacks that the team use are only very narrow. The contact patch with the car is very narrow. So if you're picking it up from two narrow points, the car can sometimes uh, wobble a little, a little bit on the stand. So they're there to stabilize the car. They're also there if there's any debris in the radiator. So they'll nip inside the radiator and they'll uh, pull out any debris that may be in the, in the rad ducts. And finally, we have the rear wing uh, pit crew member who is cleaning the main element of the rear wing again because it have, if it has any rubber stuck to it, then it will become less efficient. And in the video here, you can see that he's wiping it clean with some special gloves uh, before Felipe heads back out into the pit lane. So next up, we're going to take a look at probably the most exciting part of the pit stop, the pit crew who change the tires. Now, the first thing to know is the machinery and tools that the pit crew actually use are completely different to those that you'd use to change a tire on your, your road car example. And it's something that's changed uh, massively in, the, in, in recent times in Formula One. It was only 15, 10 years ago where we would have a, a hexagonal a wheel nut that you, that you probably would recognize as being relatively normal. Now the problem with only having a hexagon to go onto is that it's quite difficult to get the gun onto the nut very quickly because there's a, there's a, a lot of potential for a mismatch um, of the shapes. Now what's happened in, in recent years is that there's many, many more sides or, or ways that the wheel gun can go onto the nut. So they always manage to get the nut on and, and located properly and quickly without messing around trying to find the right side for the gun. So with the correct tools, it means that the pit crew can do uh, an amazingly quick uh, pit stop and there's a lot less potential for a problem in the pit stop itself. So let's take a look at the footage now and we're gonna take a, a close look at the three members of the pit crew that can change just one of the tires. And don't forget we've got another three tires around the car, so that's a total of 12 uh, pit crew members who are solely changing four tires on the race car. So from the footage here, first of all, you can see we're, we're on the front left, so you can see the, uh, the, the board that's showing Felipe where the front tires should stop, and that's what we're looking at here. Uh, you can see the mar markings uh, on the floor here, which show um, for analysis afterwards, which will be something similar to this, how well Felipe stops um, on his marks during the pit stop. The other thing to note is that you can see that all of the pit crew have all of their attention down here. So just as when we're driving on track, it's important that you're looking a long way ahead of yourself. Well, these guys are all looking down the road, eyes fixated on the car that's coming towards them at 80 kilometers an hour. And any of you who've stood next to a road, you'll know how quick 80 kilometers an hour feels when a car is approaching you. As you can see here, the first guy to move is the, the wheel nut guy, and he's moved himself across, um, across to the right-hand side here so that he can follow the wheel nut in and get on the wheel nut as quickly as possible. So as the car comes in, look, he's moving himself forwards in a sweeping motion, and already now he's following the wheel nut perfectly gets on it and he pulls the trigger and within a few moments the wheel is now coming off he's come off the the wheel nut guy has come off the uh, the wheel nut here and the the wheels coming off 
Then the gentleman on the left here is putting the, uh, the new tire back on and you can see that he actually rotates his arm around the outside and look at how close those two tires are. One comes off and we have 10 or 15 centimeters difference here. Uh, so the, the margins with the Williams Formula One team are so fine when we're changing the tires. The tire goes on smoothly here. You can see just this small gap. Um, the, the wheel hasn't located quite as quickly as, as it could. Just watch it again. You see it comes on and there's just a moment, a moment just there where it needs to locate and then he pushes the tire on. Um, it's worth noting and just going back uh, a few moments just to watch the, uh, the wheel gun pit crew. Again, as you're following the, uh, the wheel gun here, he follows the tire back into and onto the hub and is on it straight away, almost instantly. And this is how Williams consistently have the pit stop records during many of the Grand Prix. They just work so seamlessly together and it all flows so nicely. Then, once the, uh, the wheel gun is done, within a, a few tenths of a second, the gun's off and, uh, and the car's on its way once again. So actually, it's quite good to, to take note here. If you, um, if we take the center of the, the wheel as being here, Felipe stopped very, very well on his mark say, just a few centimeters off. So the, the pit crew haven't needed to, to readjust. And as you can imagine, when they're in this position with their knees and they're, they're on, the, on the ground in quite a, a strong position, which they need to be to put the, the forces uh, through the wheel nut and, and into the wheel to do it up tightly, it's very difficult for them to move. If he was, for example, you know, 20 or 30 centimeters to the left of, uh, of the wheel nut pit crew, he would have to kind of shuffle across and that's gonna take massive amounts of time. So let's watch that again from another view just to see how quickly and well synchronized the Williams F1 pit crew managed to change a tire. So the final two pit crew members to analyze are the guys who control the release of the car back into the pit lane. Now it's an incredibly important role. So you can see here, and when we go through the footage, you'll see that they don't look like they're actually doing too much. We have the, the guy at the front um, on the right hand side of the screen and the guy at the rear who are just standing there like gnomes. Um, but they're taking in a lot of information and they're, um, they're critically important to how quick the pit stop is. If we first of all uh, take a look at the pit crew member at the front of the shot here. Now he's controlling and looking out for when all of the pit crew are finished doing their jobs, uh, if there's been any problems and when it's safe to allow Felipe back out of the pit box. Now it's an incredibly difficult job because it all happens so quickly and the margins are so fine. So he's looking out for any problems, he's taking a, a, a wide view of the situation and he controls the, the traffic light that Felipe is looking for. So as we saw on the onboard footage, there's a traffic light here um, that Felipe is just watching as soon as he stops. He's just looking at this traffic light with the clutch in, ready to go as soon as he possibly can. And the, uh, the pick crew member at the front right here is, is controlling that traffic light. So imagine his job in a two second pit stop, he's gonna take in all this information, try and see when everybody's done, ensure that everybody's finished and there's no problems if there's been a sticky wheel nut or something, maybe the, the pit stop's gonna be a bit longer than normal and he's gotta watch out for that. And then the responsibility to set the light to green and release Felipe from the, uh, the pit box. Now, as I said, it's very difficult and the margins are so fine that if he's 0.5 of a second slow, it's added probably 20 or 25% of time onto the pit stop. So you just think about how quick half a second is. His, his reactions have got to be incredibly fast and uh, he's got to absorb a, a massive amount of information. So he has a huge responsibility. Now at the back of the car, we have another pit crew member who is controlling the release of the car. Now a few years ago, Formula One changed the rules whereby you can't release your car into the pit lane if there's another car coming along the pit lane. Now, they do this with a, a marker on the pit wall and if another car is past this marker, 
you can't release your car into the pit lane. The reason for this is safety. If you release the car when there's another car coming along, obviously you have a, a big potential for, for a crash. And with so many people in the pit lane, you know, it's unsafe to do that. So they, they released this rule and now you can't just release uh, your car into the path of another. So the uh, pit crew member at the back is just watching if there's another car coming al along the pit lane. And if there is, and he's past the point that Williams can't release their car, he'll override the pit crew member at the front of the car and actually hold the traffic light on red for that bit longer until the other car has come along the pit lane here and then it's safe to release the Williams F1 and Felipe Massa back into the pit lane. So that's how 23 people work together seamlessly to change four wheels and tires in less than two seconds. I mean, it's just incredible that they managed to do this consistently and with such speed. So really well done to the Williams Formula One team. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. We have many more Formula One videos and uh, driving tutorials on our channel and the driver61.com website. And if you need any motorsport products, please be sure to check out the driver61.com store for all your motorsport needs. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.